It's so hard to keep up with everything going on right now. We have COVID still going on. We have a national protest bringing to the forefront concerns of racial inequality, which is such an important discussion that we should be having. We also have criminals burning and looting private property, taking away from the focus of that important discussion. And our lives are still upside down from safer at home and social distancing, and now in some places, curfews. But during all of this, people still need to move. So I'll do my best to get as much information out to the community for those of you that need to keep track of what's going on in the Lamita real estate market right now. Now, it's a mixed market out there with different segments and prices uh, ranging and they're acting very differently. But I'm gonna focus just on Lamita, which kind of as a whole acts as the same market segment. Now, some values took a little short-term hit. In Lamita, median home values are at $719,000. That's down 0.35% from a month ago. But what's more important is how things change over longer times. And values are still up 0.05% over the last quarter, up 5.38% over the last 12 months, up 10.51% over the last two years, and up a substantial 17.26% over the last 36 months. Now in comparison, the median value in Los Angeles is $650,000. In California, $567,000, and for the entire country, it's only $248,000. Now remember this report, uh, we're looking back at historical numbers from last month. If you want to find out current numbers or what your home is worth, go to housesinsouthbay.com and get an accurate valuation. Hello, I'm Steve Huda from Century 21 Amber and housesinsouthbay.com, bringing you the Lamita Real Estate Market Report for June 2020. Now remember to like, subscribe, and especially to share if you find this information to be of value. So let's take a look at the details of what's going on in Lamita. Now in May, we had 21 active listings in Lamita, which is lower than normal for this time of year. But if we look at the bigger picture over the last five years, we'll see that there's been a downward trend on active listings as the supply in the market has remained low, long before these current challenges. Now out of those 21 active listings, 10 sold in May, which is about normal. So only, only 13 sold in May of 2019, 10 sold in May of 2018, and 11 in May of 2017. Those 10 that sold range from this two bedroom, two bath condo that sold for $395,000 to this four bedroom, two bath home on a 6,900 square foot lot that sold for $989,900. So homes are selling at about a normal rate while there's less inventory. So this looks like a good time for sellers with less competition in the market. I've had several people ask me about how long houses are sitting on the market during these times. And in some areas, it's definitely affecting days on market. But here in Lamita, average is around 33 days, which is in the middle of normal for the last few years. Another thing we can look at to see the health of the market is the month supply. This is how many months it would take to sell at the current inventory. This measurement tells us about the balance between supply and demand. Now in May, it was 1.8 months. If you don't already know, if supply is less than six months, we call that a seller's market. Prices are usually going up and sellers have more leverage during the selling process. So to recap, homes are being bought and sold every day and values are up from a year ago, but less than expected. Now supply and demand are down little, but demand still outpaces supply, keeping prices up. Now we as an industry are adjusting well. As you can see, average sale price is at 97.7% of asking price, which as you can see is right in the middle of the trend line. So as the world gets back to normal, I predict sellers will still be in a great position and that buying will still be strong due to very low interest rates. Now there's always the unknown. Will lenders constrain in any way and make it harder to, for people to get loans and maybe reduce demand? Or will a lot of people decide to sell their homes flooding the market? But you know what the market's like today, so if you need to buy or sell, there's no reason not to pursue your goals. This is still a good market. Now, if you or someone you know is thinking of buying or selling a home or just has a real estate question, contact me so I can help. Bye for now.